everyone and welcome back to another part of what remains of edith finch so we are here with this little castle thing okay let's um so i guess pull this are we oh we're going up okay i get it i get it all right there's just loads of paintings which was to be expected okay let's have a little look at milton Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Okay. Don't know what to do. Oh, okay. Let's see. <laughs> what is he doing? This is strange. Not gonna lie. Okay, is it finished? So you went. I was four when Milton disappeared. Okay. Hmm. So you went through a, a door. So what? What? Don't know. Okay, Milton. I'm gonna go back down now, I think. Unless I'm needed up here more, maybe? Nah. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Oh, I don't like glitch keys. Oh, that's the painting he's talking about then. Maybe? Like he went missing through that? I don't I don't know. I don't understand. Okay. Let's um let's go out here. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Okay. Just go for the long way. Yeah, let's not go the long way. Let's go back the other way. <laughs> What's happened? Okay. So do I go up here, maybe? Let's go up here. I don't know. What way did we come? Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until mom got him a job at the cannery. Okay. What's up here? Oh. There's some seats. I guess. Oh wait, we could go in here. Alright. I don't think that a 22 week old. Or 22 month. 20, 22 week pregnant woman should Lewis's do this. room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Okay, this is a pretty cool room. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. Oh. He died a lot. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Okay. He kept working at the cannery. Oh, I don't like this. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... I can't... I can't... I don't know what to do. Wonder. Oh. Wait, what? I don't know what that means. What? What? 
I guess we're just doing the fish. What? Oh, he's a. Uh... Oh, I don't want to grab it. Oh. Okay, so we're supposed to be, I guess. All oh, right. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. Ah, oh, fuck. And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. It's difficult because you're like doing both things at once. But he took it very seriously. Like the fish and the freaking labyrinth. I had hoped he'd find himself. Oh. Okay, wait. I need these fish out my way. Out my way. Okay, there we go. Now we could continue with the labyrinth. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. Goodness. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. Okay, that's getting easier now. I can molly task here. He told me he'd made a new friend. A doggy. Alright, wait, whoa. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Oh, jeez. Then he made musicians. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. Oh, my days. This is difficult. And he was always humming something. Where'd my dog go? I can hear it, but I can't see him. Every day his imagination grew on. stronger. For the fish, I mean. <laughs> I don't know what. Oh god, this is so disturbing. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. That all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. Okay. It became a game for him. Oh, wait, we're still doing fish. Hang on, wait. Oh, jeez. Fish he and conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. My days. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Strange. So Even as weird. his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on.
Okay. So essentially, he just wants to live in this uh, imagined world. What? Okay. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a. Oh, jeez. Okay, hang on. Wait. Oh. Uh, I'm stuck. Bro. Oh. Handsome oh queen. Can't do this. It's really difficult to control the boat as well, though. I'm just kind of letting it go wherever the heck it's going. <laughs> oh, God. Let's crash in, too. Oh, my dude. The queen was on her own quest for. I guess we're going Sinister Serpents, because there's no way I'm getting to serpents. rainbows. Oh my days. He followed the sound of her. Um. Look over the harp. Silver harp. Oh my goodness. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. So much concentration right now, you guys. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Oh god. Okay, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't keep doing both these things. Right. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. What is this? For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him. That the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. This is insane. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Wait, where am I? Oh, okay. Oh, no more trap and fish, thank God. No more multitasking. We got Began this. Began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Probably, I mean... What is he? he thinks he's some sort of king or mayor or something. And I'm pretty sure we're... He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. I've got to go up here? I don't know what I'm doing, but I don't really want to do it. But I think the game... I still thought I could save him. Hmm. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. It's bright. The palace would be packed with his companions. Oh my goodness. No, they're so creepy. None of them have faces. Uh... Including the wise Calico who'd insisted on advising him. Come on then. Let's go see this queen. His queen waited, holding his crown. This is concerning. There was only one thing left to do. Creeping me right out. His head. Oh, 
Oh gosh, this is one of the things that chops the head off the fish, though, right? Yeah. And the rest I think you know. Okay. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My goodness. Okay. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't like that story at all. Ugh. Gives me the heebie jeebies. How did we get in here? Came in through the window, right? We could go out through the door. That should take us somewhere else. Yeah. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. What is this room? What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. Our room? I don't know. Confused. I'm assuming it's our room, though. Because it's Edith? Wait. Yeah, that's our room that we're in now. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. But it had to end one or maybe way or another. Not. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Okay, but what about our mom and gran? That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go over? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Okay. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. Where are we going? What is this little room? That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Oh, I feel so bad for her. No, we, we no. I, mm -hmm. Open. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Okay. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. 
Okay. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. It's this way. I'm going straight. I got turned around. What? Where are we? I don't know what I'm doing, man. We should have been going straight there, though, because I did not move the... I started seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. This is so confusing. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! Okay. I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw great-grandma Edie again. Aww. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. <laughs> we both tried to make the best of it. Okay. Wee. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. The rest happened pretty quickly. <laughs> Can't do anything. Oh. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. last finch left alive. Oh. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Wait, what? This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. Why? I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, Things didn't work out that way. What is happening? This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. So, oh, I don't even know what's going on. Ugh. So that's it finished? Well, 
cervezas. All right, so we're on to the credits and I really enjoyed that game, but I'm so confused by it. I mean, it's so sad, but like, I don't know. <laughs> Let, yeah, I guess that's it finished. So let me know what you thought of the game in the comments down below. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye everyone.